Congratulations guys, you did it. You submitted your application and now your interview awaits. Now don't freak out, this video is going to give you a few tips on how to ace your interview, not to worry and to get the jobs that you applied for. These tips are not in any particular order, so let's start off with number one, research the company that you are going to be working for. Now you don't really have to know every single detail, but definitely know about the core value of the company and their mission statement. So you can basically figure out if what you want to do aligns with what the company offers. That way you can better gauge if you're going to be a good fit into the company and also the corporate culture. If you know who you're going to be meeting for your interview, see if you can look for them on LinkedIn. Just like the interviewers would be going through your social media profile to get a sense of who you are, by looking at your interviewer's LinkedIn profile, you'll be able to get some information that might be helpful during the interview process. Tip number two is to dress accordingly. During your initial research, you're going to get an idea of the corporate culture and the dress code that the company is going to adhere to. But if you can't really figure that out, it's always better to overdress, so always go for a formal business attire. Now this means no crazy hairdo or crazy accessory. If you are that kind of person outside of work, that's perfectly fine. But during this initial interview process, you want to set forth a good first impression. So dress a bit conservatively and also formal and also maintain proper hygiene, of course. Tip number three is to be prepared. This means before your interview date, try to go to the company so you can figure out how long the commute is gonna be or the traffic or parking or anything like that. And also don't forget to print out extra documents like your resumes and your cover letters and things to provide to your interviewers. At this point, maybe you can also invest in a good professional looking folder because it'll be good for this interview, but also for future interviews as well. Step number four, and I'm sure you've already heard of it, is to be on time. Try to get there at least 15 minutes before so you can go over your notes and calm yourself down before the actual interview. And don't forget, these people are lending you their time, setting it aside for your interview. So it's only courteous to make sure you get there on time as well. Tip number five is to be friendly and to smile to everyone that you meet. Now, although you might be just meeting with a handful of people for the interview, people that you see in the lobby and also your future coworkers, they'll all be watching you and see how you react. So be nice to the receptionist, be nice to everyone that you go through. Because the interviewer, they might ask for inputs to those other employees just to see how they feel with you being there. And also remember to put away your phones because most of us when we're on their phone, well, we don't really have the friendliest of expressions. So put your phone away, don't forget to smile and be nice to those around you while you wait for your turn. Tip number six is to practice common interview questions. Now, if you go on Google and you type in interview questions, you're gonna see thousands and hundreds of interview questions that are commonly asked. And even though you don't have to know every single questions and every single answer to them, have, by having a good understanding of what possible questions will be asked, it's gonna help you prepare. And like I said, practicing is going to calm your nerve, which is going to let your true self shine. Because most of us, if we don't know what's going on, we stay rigid and we're not sure of what to say. But by practicing, you won't be nervous. And so during the interview process, Process, you won't be too rigid and you're going to bring out the true self, the version that you want them to see. Tip number seven is to keep your answers short and concise and don't ramble on and on. Now I'm very guilty of this and if I don't catch myself during the interview, I can talk on and on and on and sometimes I don't even end up answering the question that they ask. So remember, this is why practicing is so important. Keep your answer short and have an idea of what you're going to say. Because if anything, you can always reiterate and get more specifics with follow-up questions or other interview questions that they're going to ask. Tip number eight is to sell yourself as an asset to the company. What I mean by this, let's say they mentioned that one of the issues they had with this position is a high turnover rate. What you can let them know and what you can answer is basically saying, I want to grow within the company and I'm looking for a long-term career prospect within your company. This is going to basically let them know that, all right, this guy wants to stay with us for a longer period, which is going to address the high turnover that we have. By framing your questions in a way that it addresses the issues that they have, it also sells you as an asset to the company. It's going to make you stand out more. Tip number nine is to not talk badly about your past employers. Now they might ask about your work history and also might ask, oh, how come you're interviewing for this position or how come you left your previous positions? Now when they do ask this question, don't talk badly about your past employers. Even though it might be true, it's not really going to give them a good impression of you. They might think, all right, so if we don't do something right with him during his next interview or during her next interview, they're basically going to badmouth us as well. So of course, when they ask the questions, why did you leave your past job? Keep it simple and short and stick with the main point and keep it neutral. Don't add any emotions into it and don't explain specifically, oh, my coworkers or my boss, they were terrible. 
but just leave it as you know something like oh i felt like it was time for me to find a better position or i felt like my uh, potential wasn't being utilized tip number 10 is to have questions ready for them as well interviews is a two-way street not only are they interviewing you to see if you're going to be a good match of their company you're also interviewing them to find out information that's going to help you make a decision because you basically want to work for a place that you also want to work in and that also values you as an employee i'm not saying ask questions like oh how much am i going to be paid or is there a reason why you shouldn't hire me those questions aren't going to do you any good what i would suggest is ask questions that are goal oriented for example say oh if i am hired what kind of um, goals that you want me to achieve within 90 days of my hire or can add something like is there any areas in the department that you find lacking and that you want me to help assist with by asking questions that's going to show how eager and willing you are to contribute to their success is going to leave them with a positive image of you in their mind and the final step 11 is just don't forget to say thank you now that the interview is over now's a chance to follow up and also thank them for their time send them a thank you email or a note basically saying thank you for giving me the time for this interview and i look forward to hearing back from you regarding the results this step shows gratitude and also leaves them with a positive image of you it also gives them a way to correspond back with you i hope these 11 tips help you with your interview journey and during your interview process and one final tip is to never give up stay positive Positive and keep at it and even though you already had a few interviews and nothing came of it the only thing that's going to stop you from getting your next job is you if you stop looking and you stop searching and you stop trying no one is going to come over and hand you a job so stay positive keep looking because you are going to get that job that you want and you deserve thank you for watching and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click subscribe and leave a comment if you have any other tips that you want to share with each other that's it for me today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video all right guys bye